Talk to me first about, I want to go way back to uh, way back. The, your, your roots and your class. Uh, it struck me, you and Cindy Crawford and Kathy Ireland uh, all sort of came up at the mm -hmm. exact same time and kind of created the supermodel, the idea of supermodels. But you also did something that models hadn't previously done. And you, that is that you really got into business. And you've right. done a lot of different businesses, starting with the lingerie uh, company. And I he heard a story about how they asked you to front for them and you said why don't I license to you instead and that was kind of the first turning point. Yes, I think that uh, you know we grew up in the 80s and Wall Street and we uh, was really was really booming not that it's not now but we were getting advice as 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 models about how we could take more control of our businesses and turn them into something that uh, truly had meaning. So I was looking at lingerie at the time and uh, this small company came to me and said would you be the spokesperson for our, our, our company and I said yes I would but I, I wanted to be not really a hired hand but I wanted a licensing fee and you know that was a business model that was very successful for many years. I've actually just recently walked away from that licensing model because I really want to um, invest in businesses, personally invest in businesses that I own and uh, you know for example Wellco which is a business that I you know, I'm a co-founder. So you're, so you're, now you're becoming an actual partner in these businesses, yes. even a founder, really. Um, but it's no coincidence that you and Sandy and Kathy, I mean, you, you created supermodels. You also crossed over into business. And you, you're also very intelligent people, right? You're, not, you're no longer just the faces on the cover of the magazine, but actually thinking about your next move and strategizing about life and building an empire and... Yes, there's the business side, which is how can I have a more profound effect on the businesses that I'm growing? So how can I grow my own business instead of growing other people's businesses? But also, how can I invest my time and energy into things that are really meaningful or purposeful for me? And um, that's been a big, as I've matured, you know, I've just turned 50 this year. And one of the things that's been really important is that I actually really want to be involved with businesses that are impactful and that um, are meaningful to me. I just, I wanted to put my finger on because, you know, everybody's had advisors in the past, but mm. what you've done is more than just listen to advice. I mean, you've been incredibly proactive in this career. Let's talk about uh, that uh, Wellco and the product. Uh, yes. A friend of mine on Facebook just messaged me and said, her arms are incredible. She's an <laughs> alien. Um, and you, you uh, tribute a lot of, of the way you look now to yes. you have a, a drug-free alcohol-free lifestyle but you're also drinking this spirit elixir I mean is that really what's keeps you looking so great the super elixir has been a way of life for me health and wellness has been a way of life for me for a long time so it's the whole package it's the whole package I think it's spiritual physical and 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 you know um, mental well-being but this particular product I um, I developed with my nutritionist for me and I wanted to find a simple product that could uh, um, nourish my cells from a cellular level because what I've realized in time is that I can look as beautiful as anybody else but if I don't feel good you look more beautiful than anybody else. <laughs> I've got good lighting thank you very much <laughs> but but if I don't feel good it's actually really meaningless to some extent and and so they show that you know in 2011 women would say what's high on their priority they would say oh, losing weight looking thin today what's high on women's priority is I want to I, I want to be inspired and I want to be energized and I want to feel good at this point in my life and so this product for me which nourishes the cells from a cellular level is um, something that I believe so, so strongly in I created a company so what's I mean you have an obvious advantage because you're working out all the time you're eating right you're not doing all of the stuff that I do at night uh, which makes me look like this um, but what can I gain from this super elixir what is it is it like greens is it like vegetables I mean, what are we uh, the Super Elixir is 45 ingredients that have been carefully cura curated from around the world in specific doses. And what it does is it nourishes your cells right down to the mitochondria. And it alkalizes your blood, which a lot of uh, disease and well, uh, non-wellness comes from having an acidic body. So um, the health benefits are extraordinary. And we've done a lot of uh, research and, and surveys, and people have have noticed not only do that they feel better, their workouts are more efficient, but they look better. What do you think, by the way, I mean, you look so good, and <laughs> I look at um, uh, some of the other people around you that are 
just looking incredible in, in, your, in your sort of modeling class. Do you think that uh, we're going to see a lot more models that are our age? I mean, is the demographic helping uh, that at all? Yeah, I believe that the, the, the power of women today is, is between, you know, 40 and 60. We have disposable income, and we're at a stage in our life where, as I said, you know, we, we are interested in wellness. We're interested in um, ourselves. We invest in ourselves, and we want to be educated, and we want to invest in products that are meaningful to us, and we have disposable income. So it's a very powerful demographic of women, and I speak to those women um, because they're my peers. I just, you know, in studying for this interview, I watched a lot of the movies you were in. I know you also yes. uh, host a couple of television shows, so I'm hoping, can we see you in another movie? Is there some more <laughs> Ellen McPherson coming out? I think I'm a bit out? past that, but I've had such an amazing, you know, time throughout my career. I've experimented with lots of different mediums and, you know, film, television, um, hosting, you know, Saturday Night Live, and I've been just really, really fortunate. My brother was on that episode of Saturday Night I Live. I know. That I... you hosted with Sting. Uh, all right. All right, I want to take some time. We have this segment called yes. Getting to Know You, which, yes. thank God, I'm, I'm going to get, get to know get you better. Get to know me, baby. Yes. So, uh, number one question, who is your role model in business? Uh, one of the women that have really inspired me in my life is Diane von Furstenberg. And I just read her recent book, The Woman That I Want to Be, The Woman That I Want to Be. And, um, you know, I learned a lot about her, her journey. And she's inspired me. She's also a close friend. She's godmother to my son as well. So. And a great designer uh, as well. I see all and her stuff on 5F over She's a great designer, but she's also, she's, she's had it all and lost it all. And she's focused on family. And she's, you know, she's reinvented herself. And she's maintained her dignity and beauty just the way she is. All right. I'm going to skip ahead to number four here. Yes. Your favorite model of the moment. Uh, it's interesting because there are sort of our age as well. Uh, Christy Turlington and Carolyn Murphy. Yes. Why uh, Why you choose these? You don't like any of the new the new fresh uh, faces? I do. But I mean, Christy, you host but Britain's Next, next Supermodel, Supermodel, Ireland's Next Supermodel. But when yeah. I look at a woman, I look at her entirety. So I look at Christy and I think, here's a girl. She's a great mother. She's a wife. She finished her education at NYU. And she's working for every woman counts. And she's really committed to that. Plus, she's beautiful. I mean, what's not to like? Absolutely. Let me get one more real quickly. Yes. Favorite band? I've been thinking a lot about, a lot about the dead today. No, I think it's a great answer. Your answer, can we show it? Fleetwood Mac. There you go. What a fantastic Mick Fleetwood. I'm a girl from the 70s. 